Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna go over my experience so far with the Hack the Box Academy Bug Bounty Pathway. I am currently in process of hopefully finishing my CPTS. Did I say that correctly? Yes, CPTS exam. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to finish it as I will have to be traveling to work early first thing tomorrow morning and I had to prepare for uh, to be part of a physical security conference for my job, uh, which I'll touch on cyber and how that goes into play with physical security um, in that gray area. So with that being said, let's get into this video. So guys, like I was saying, I might not finish my CPTS exam and a day today. I had to be part of the physical security uh, conference for my job. Um, so I had to get all my stuff updated, fine tuned, making sure everything works. I still have not even had my employee badges. This will be my actually my first time going into the office as well. Um, so pretty much my role there is just to show physical security on some of the devices um, someone could use to clone badges, social engineer, uh, break into the buildings, bypass door locks, um, any kind of sensors from glass breaks to door sensors, um, alarm sensors, all that stuff. So pretty much, um, and also uh, do some communications that are encrypted that don't need Wi-Fi or uh, mobile. So pretty much uh, that, that will be on the mesh networks for those that see my Instagram, the lily pads. Um, just to go over use cases for those and how they could utilize that for a crisis management scenario or, you know, whatever. Um, so that's pretty much what happened. Um, so I will give a little update video on that uh, once I get back, whether I finish it or not. Um, but I will be, as soon as I get back, I am going to reschedule if I do not finish. And then as soon as I, I complete that exam, I'm rolling right into completing uh, or taking this exam for the bug, bounter, bug bounty pathway. Um, so pretty much I'll show you where I'm at today. And mind you, some of the modules do touch on this pathway from the pen tester one, not all of them, uh, just I'd say about a third, maybe if that. Um, so let's go into it and check out my current, um, uh, my current, uh, what you call it, how much I've done already. So pretty much right here, job roles, paths under hack the box Academy. Bug Bounty Hunter, as you could see, as I showed in my last video, I've already completed the pen tester one, obviously, hence the CPTS exam. The only way you could get into these e exams, if you haven't saw my last video, is you have to complete the pathway 100% in order to unlock the exam. That's even if you have paid for the voucher as well. Um, so pretty much, and you can enroll, unenroll, go back and forth to complete modules. It doesn't really matter. You can go back and forth. Oops, let's see, how can I go back to here? Let's see if I did this correctly. Nope. One second. Uh, okay, so right here, this will show I'm 69.92%, little micro percentage of uh, 70%. Um, so let's see if I could complete it. Okay, so we got web request, introduction, web applications, using web proxies. Information gathering web edition um, all completed JavaScript. This is one. I'm really looking forward to and uh, Later in the video. I'll go up to what I think they have a couple um, I'm not sure if they're part of the Advanced exam or pathway, but I do want to get heavily into this after the CPTS uh, Cross-site scripting SQL injection fundamentals. I believe this one. I'm not sure about this one I believe this one was in the pen tester pathway Command injections completing, file upload attacks completed, completing, completed. Uh, server side attacks, looking forward to this one as well, and broken authentication. Uh, someone did tell me that they did update this from a while ago. I'm not, I'm not sure, I, I, this is my first time taking this module, um, not the pathway, but just the module in general. Um, and I guess before Hack the Box had these pathways, they did have the modules. I wasn't on Hack the Box, well, Hack the Box Academy. I wasn't on there then so i can't give you any answers i i don't know i'm just from what i was told i've never signed up for the academy um until i think it was this no october 
September last year when I was there. That's when I first bought the voucher. I just bought the voucher. I didn't buy anything else. Uh, that was for the CPTS. But I haven't done anything before that with the Academy. So I'm not sure how it goes if someone brings that up. I can't give you an honest answer. I'm just going to tell you what I was, I've been told from multiple people. Um, so session security, web services, and API. This is a good one. API is really critical these days. Um, very As much knowledge as you could take in with APIs. Highly recommend it. Bug bounty, hunting process, this one, gather vulnerability reports, get into the real world. So I guess this goes over the overall scope of bug bounty, bug bounty hunting process. Um, so I guess this would be like a universal concept, whether you go on your own, internal, bug crowd, hacker one, etc. So this one looks like it might be pretty interesting as well. So I only got one, two, three, four, five, six seven to complete left um some of them vary some of them aren't that long um some have more than than usual like the active directory one and pen tester pathway was really long um this one's a little bit long as well this one was different i know this one had an update um and that came on the pen tester pathway as well the update was really really different from what people have told me before uh a lot of uh, zone transfers and stuff like that uh, exercise. So pretty much my take on this, again, the two things for this is consistency and good note taking, especially if you're new to the website. Uh, for me, for again, from my experience, for those that haven't watched my last videos, the web is either hit or miss for me. And this is something I really need to touch on, not just web going forward, but also API. Uh, pretty much for me, I'm not trying to uh, be a know-it-all and everything because that will never happen, nor will I ever say that. The key thing for me is I want to be pretty much well-rounded and I want to get back into a senior manager, possibly even a director role. Um, so again, the way, if you've seen my last videos on how I approach being a manager, I want to understand at least 80% of what I'm managing or directing uh, in case I have to get hands-on or have to speak to someone in some, some meeting some way or someone hits me up and says, you know, I don't, I hate going to answer questions or in a meeting and I don't know what the hell you're talking about or I don't understand, let me get uh, one of my team members. Now, there are times to, to do that as a manager, but to delegate stuff, but, you know, I'm, I do not like being a manager, let alone don't like managers that don't know what the hell they're managing. So that's just for me to go in and also I want to, be able to teach people how to do this as a, as a, you know, manager, director level. Um, and I know once you get to a director level, obviously coming from physical security, you can't really, you're not really going to be hands-on in most things. Um, but I will say cybersecurity is a little bit different than physical security. So you've got to have a more of an understanding than you would in cyber than you would in physical security, uh, especially from my experience. Um, so again, the two key things, consistency, good note taking. And honestly, for me, again, I don't, I'm not getting paid by hack the box. I'm not getting any kind of reimbursements. I don't even put my refer cubes on there. Right. Um, this has been the best web training for me so far. I know, uh, Port Swigger has it, but for me, I like how you actually, you can either use your Cali, um, box or your, or the poem box. I believe it's parrot. I don't, I don't really, I've only used it a couple times for Dante. Um, other, for the Pentester Academy and, and Bug Bounty, I use my Kali Linux box. But for me, um, it's, it's really authentic. You're not just going into make, not a, I don't want to say make believe, but like, you know, it's a practice website here. It's actually, it feels more authentic if this is what I'm saying. So you actually get to see and capture that visibility on, on what you're doing, what you're learning and, and actually if you do take good notes, which you should, uh, you'll actually do piece by piece again and formulate everything and not just knowing how to do or catch the attacks in real life, but you're, gonna, you're also going to understand and know what you're learning and how certain things work, why they work. And key thing for web is before you go in and start launching shit, you got to understand how the actual uh, application itself works, right? Understand what it does when you click this, when you go to, to add this blog post or uh, whatever, right? Whatever you gotta, gotta add or understand or input, you pretty much gotta go in knowing how the application works and understand it from a user standpoint. And that's gonna help you on your um, attack method methodology. 
Uh, so pretty much, I like how that goes, touches on that. This is, um, for me, for the bug mounter, it's, I would say it's on, it's on level with the P, uh, PJWT, which I am also going to take right after this exam. Uh, however, this is going to be more in depth, more granular. I would say uh, uh, even a little bit more harder than the PJWT, but they fall in line and I already had that voucher as well. Um, so pretty much I am watching, I watch about 85% of the video. So I'm going to touch on a little bit that I missed and work in tandem with this. Once I complete, I'm going to go, uh, once I complete the CPTS, hop back right into this, review any notes that I need to touch on, hit it out hard and hopefully, uh, oh shit, we're, yeah, we're already in September. So hopefully at the end of September or actually the first, my goal is the first uh, Friday of October, which would be October 4th, um, looking at my calendar. That's when I plan to take this exam. Um, that's my goal. And then right after that, the next following week, uh, as soon as I get the confirmation that I passed that following Friday, I'm going to take the PJWT, um, and go from there. And I'll also do a video on that and their training as well. They have some great training too. Um, but they get, they're not bad. They get straight to the point on what you need for their exam and that's it, which is great, right? You really don't need anything else. And that goes for the PNPT. I never took the one before that. A couple friends have. Uh, they have videos on YouTube. Highly would recommend watching them. They say the same thing. Only Active Directory, I think it's the PJPNT. PJPT, I think it was. Only Active Directory, you don't need anything else. Just watch, what you, watch what's in the video. Same thing with for the PNPT. Actually, you didn't even need to watch all the videos for the PNPT. Um, it was pretty self-explanatory, but this goes, the hack the box goes into more granular, uh, more things that they don't touch on in TCM, um, which is not a bad thing because TCM is not like offset. They don't promote, oh yeah, you're going to learn everything in our labs and it's a complete crock of shit. No, T TCM pretty much is on the point where just watch our stuff. That's all you need for our exam. And they're hundred percent correct in my opinion and in my experience. Um, but however, these take it to a different level. Uh, which is why I like, and I get a better understanding of of out of a better understanding going outside of what TCM teaches. Um, so I think they are complementary. I would say TCM PJWT would be a first stepping stone if you never ever touched on web, and then move into this bug bouncer hunt, hunter examination or the CBBH. Uh, but I would do both of the trainings in tandem because yeah, you do some stuff on the lab and TCM. Here you also get more hands-on training, and again, it's more granular and more in-depth, in my opinion. So I would do them in both if you can. I know you got to pay two uh, different ones, but for me, I think TCM, and I'm starting to see it more too, hack the box. I think those two, in my opinion right now, as long as they keep doing what they're doing, I think they're going to be the face of offensive security as far as certs. You're going to have your granular niches like CRTO um, for red team, obviously, uh, what is it? Breach IO for cloud. Obviously, those are going to be their own as well because their own niche cloud and, and um, C2 or Cobalt Strike, which is obviously really popular. Um, however, for overall standing for offensive security, I think those P, uh, TCM and Hack the Box are going to pretty much be the new standard pretty soon, in my opinion. I think the CPTS will take over the uh, OSCP. And I think their advanced web, from what I hear, I haven't took it, I haven't even started the pathway, uh, will take over the OSWE, in my opinion, from what I hear. And, and these people that I hear it from um, have said nothing but really good things about it. I've taken the OSWE course, the labs, and that was fucking horrible. I, don't, I know it updated since that was January of 2023, and it was horrible. I... I just said, forget it. it. Yeah, I, I'm even scared to take it. I know it's on my pathway just because it has that name for itself right now, that current standing. But my focus right here on, is on this. Um, hack the box and TCM right now. And obviously, I'm still doing the CTO, CTRO for work. Um, but back to this, again, consistency and note-taking you you're going to need it for this and it's going to help you out you're going to like i said the the modules the labs and the skill assessments at the end of each module are pretty much great in my opinion you're not going to get that shit from offset so 
Um, that's my review on the bug mounter hunting path so far. Uh, again, I haven't completed. I'm just shy of 70%. Um, so after my CPTS, I am going to jump back into it. October 4th, that Friday is my goal to take this exam. Um, so feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe. And if you think uh, I missed something or share your experience in the comment section, uh, let me know what you think. Um, and then also I'll be having my video for the CPTS once I do pass it. Um, whether or not I pass it, I'll give an update. And then when I do, if I do pass it, I'll have a video for that as well in my overall um, exam review. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the video. Uh, I'm going to try to get two more videos out for this week since I'll be traveling uh, till Friday. So um, I'll be in Miami. Uh, other than that, um, enjoy the week, everyone. Hope you liked the video. Have a great day.